Your sprinkler system is composed of many parts, but it is the controller that allows the system to run when and how you desire. It may look complex, but it is really quite simple to customize your system to the needs of your lawn and landscape. Throughout this DVD, we will refer to the control buttons and the control dial. The control buttons are the on or up arrow button, the off or down arrow button, and the manual start or advanced button. The up arrow and down arrow buttons are used to select and scroll through options, and the manual start advanced button will advance to the next option or manually start the system. The dial to the right of the digital display allows you to select three different settings, current date, current time, and watering times. To change the date or the time, turn the dial to the selection you want to change. Next, use the up and down buttons to select the time. Items that are flashing are able to be changed. To advance to the next item, press the advance button. After your selections are complete, return the dial to the auto position. To set the time when your sprinkler will turn on, turn the dial to the watering start times. Use the up and down buttons to select the time of day you wish to water your lawn. In this case, 7 a.m. To water your lawn more than once a day, press the advance button and a second watering time will be available to set. You are allowed to set up to four watering times for each program. Once you have selected your watering time, return the dial to the auto position. There is a switch in the center of your controller labeled Program with three settings of A, B, and C. When you programmed your watering time, watering days and amount of time to water, you created a program. Your controller can create up to three unique programs for your system. For instance, you could set up program A to run your lawn sprinklers on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and set up program B to water just the landscape sprinklers on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You can choose which days you want your sprinkler system to come on. To do this, Turn the dial to the day you want to program. If you want to water on that day, press the on button. If you don't want to water that day, press the off button. Go through each of the days and select on or off for that day. Then return the dial to the auto position. As you know, your sprinkler system is made up of sprinklers that are divided into zones or what are referred to as valves on your controller box. You are able to program the controller to water each individual zone for a specific amount of time. To do this, turn the dial to the Set Valve Runtime section and select the zone number that you want to program. Next, use the up and down buttons to adjust the number of minutes that that zone will water. Repeat this process for each zone. When you have finished adjusting the time for each zone, return the dial to the auto position. Another useful feature is the manual start button. When the dial is in the auto position, pressing the manual start button will allow you to start your sprinkler system program at any time. If you want to water just one zone, you can turn the dial to the zone number and then hit the manual start button. Just that zone will then run for the time programmed number of minutes. Using the manual start feature will not affect your automatic program. If you turn the dial to the advanced cycle settings, you will see four cycle options, custom, odd, even, and cyclic. The default setting is custom, which allows the system to run with the custom time and days we have manually set up. Setting the system to odd will run the programs on the odd days of the week. Even will run the programs on the even days of the week. 
and Cyclic will run the programs on a cyclical interval that you set up between 1 and 31 days. For instance, if you wanted to water your lawn every 3 days, press the Advance button to choose the interval, in this case 3. When you are finished choosing your desired cycle, return the dial to the auto position. The Test All Valve setting allows you to start each zone or valve without interfering with their set times. To test all the zones, turn the dial to the Test All Valve setting and press the manual start button. Each zone will then run for two minutes by default unless you wish to increase or decrease this time by using the up and down buttons. If you wish to stop the testing, you can turn the dial to the off position for five seconds. When finished, return the dial to the auto position. The last feature of your controller is the seasonal adjust percent setting. This setting allows you to uniformly adjust all of your valves to run for a percentage of their program time. The default setting is 100%, meaning that each zone will run for 100% of the program time. However, you may want to water for a longer or shorter period of time depending on the season. To accomplish this, you do not need to reprogram each zone. Rather, you can simply increase or decrease the percentage for all the zones. This is done by turning the dial to the seasonal adjust percent and using the up and down buttons to select the desired percentage. In the summer months, you may decide to increase your watering time to 150% of normal. This means that if zone one has been programmed to run for 10 minutes, under the seasonal adjust setting, it will now run for 15 minutes. During cooler months, you may decide to decrease your watering time to 50%, meaning that that same zone will only run for five minutes. The seasonal adjust setting will allow you to adjust the percentage of time from between 10% and 200%.